Oh my stars. You're going to harvest me? Hello everyone, Kendra here. And uh, don't mind this, I'm still gonna paint it. I just wanted to jump into this right now. But anyway, thank you so, so much for all the positive feedback that you guys gave me in my last video, Paradox Transmission. I honestly did not expect to have that much love and positivity. So thank you people, you guys are awesome. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's get on with this Paradox makeup tutorial. Okay, so first things first, we are going to prime our eyelids using an eye shadow primer. Then we are going to be using a white base all over our lids. We want this, we want to use a white eyeshadow base so that the greens will pop out even more. Then we are going to use this light green eyeshadow. Make sure that the light green eyeshadow you're using is very similar to your face paint. So just pack that all in your lid using your clean fingers. Then we are going to be using these two shades of green. I am very bad with names, so we are gonna name it Green 2 and Green 3. And using Green 2 on the edge of our lid, then blending it all in so it's soft. Well, not really soft, but just blended. Then we're going to be using green shadow number 3 to define our crease and our outer V even more. Now the goal of Peridot's makeup is more of to define your features as opposed to making it super glamorous because I really think she's that kind of person, just gem, kind of simple. And then blending that with green number 2. And as you can see that it faded a bit, so we're going to use green number 3 to again intensify our crease area and our outer V. And just basically keep on layering it and blending it. Alright. Then we are going to be priming our face using a primer that specifically really longev longev longs your foundation. And then we are going to spray some makeup sp setting spray. Then I am using Snazaru in Lime Green. Um, to be honest, I would prefer to use Ben Nye or Cryolan or Tag, but Snazaru was what I had had in hand. So just packing it all over my face and spraying some makeup spray again. Now what I usually do is uh, layer 1, then spray, layer 2, then spray, layer 3, then spray. About 5 layers, but I couldn't really do that because I was losing my paint. And again, it's a bit hard to deal with Snazaru. But you know, in the end, the makeup looks gonna look pretty good. Slightly streaky, but overall very good. So just keep on spreading that all over your face. Alright, motorcycle, I hear you. Sorry for the background sounds, guys. And using a sponge to stipple, no, not really stipple, but to just press the paint even further to my face. Then packing it with my fingers because some parts were just, you know, not working with the tool, so I used my fingers. And you can do that too. Then I noticed I did not do anything to my lips, so I am putting my face paint on my lips to kind of nude it out as far as nude green can go. <laughs> then powdering my face to set it all in place. Now you prob you want to go kind of heavy with your powder so that it really is dry and sealed. Now what I usually do is powder then spray, powder then spray, but for here I just powdered it because I could not be bothered. <laughs> then I'm using green shadow number two to blend it all in and contour. Now contouring is super important especially when you're face painting because it re face paint really flattens out your features. So here I am contouring my nose and contouring my jawline. I really peg Peridot to have an angular, to have angular features. That's why I'm really contouring. Then contouring my jaw and earlier and my te the temples. Then I am using this goldish green eyeshadow as my blush and hitting the tops of my cheeks. Next, I am going to be highlighting using this 
lightly golden green shadow and hitting the top of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, uh, underneath my contour to really intensify that contour, my chin, and my brow area. Basically everything you want to bring forth. Then I'm using that light green to complete my eyeshadow makeup, eye, eye makeup look. And using that light green on the inner tear duct to brighten and open my eyes. Then packing that light green again to come back with our green shadow. And then I am going to be lining my eyes using a liquid liner from Dolly Wink. Now, you can make it really intense with the cat eye, but I prefer just really lining it because, as again, as I said, the goal of the makeup is to just define and not really make it super glamorous. Next, I'm going to be lining my waterline with white eyeshadow to make my eyes bigger and brighter, and then tight lining with a black pencil. Then curling my lashes to prepare for mascara, and then putting on the mascara. And you will see that I made a mistake, so yeah. But we can always fix that. By the way, we are not using falsies here because that's too dramatic in my opinion. Then I am going to be drawing my eyebrows and slightly arching it a bit and making it look a bit worried because I feel that Peridot has that kind of expression a lot. <laughs> Then I am going to be kind of mimicking some eye bags or using green shadow number two because, again, I feel that she is worried a lot. And then using this green lipstick from NYX and relining and reshaping my lips to make it smaller because I don't think she has full lips. Then I am slightly overlining it to give a more cartoony effect. Then I am using eyelash glue to stick my gem to my forehead, though you can use spirit gum, it all depends on you. And that's it! That is how you look like Peridot. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this helped, and I'll see you again in my next vid. Bye! Go to Earth, they said. It'll be easy, they said.